Hello, my friends, and welcome to another men's trip. We're going to start off strong with a pair of Canterbury rugby shorts. They are men's size small. If you have no idea what rugby shorts are or how I know that, I will definitely go into that in way too much detail in the haul. So you have that to look forward to. This is a loft piece, but it is a loft factory piece. I thought about it for a hot minute and I decided since it's a size small to go ahead and pass on it. It's also, you know, out of season because it is a sleeveless dress. So I just decided to pass. Uh, I have no idea what that was. Hopefully you guys were able to make out that silver uh, font. This is a vintage piece. Unfortunately, I did not see it in the amazing lighting here at the bins that the under pits, under pits, you know what I'm saying? The, the under bits were too yellow for me to be able to fix. So that actually went back into the bins. This is Babao. I, I'm pretty sure I definitely did not pronounce that correctly, but that's a fun way to say that. So that's why I said it that way. This is a lovely vintage dark floral. I considered it, but it was also a size small. So that went back there. That's just me showing you, hey, look, it's sparkly. I put that away. Um, it's also a size small. This is a women's size 18. It is a vintage Lands in piece with the shell pattern. It does have some standing on the collar, but unlike the crunchy armpits, I can get that out. So I put that in my shopping cart. You will see it later. Uh, Goodwill wanted to charge $15 for this Dana Nicole dress. It is a vintage 90s dress, but uh, I don't, I definitely would not pay $15 for that at a retail thrift store at all. This is a, a vintage piece with some cardinals. It's very on the, brand, on the nose for the holiday season, but I just decided to go ahead and pass on it. This is me trying to find out if it's cotton or polyester and was not able to figure that out because I could not find a label. This is Target, that's what Massimo is. Or I should say was ever since the National College admission scam covered by the FBI, Massimo is no longer sold at Target. So there's that. This is a J. Crew t-shirt. It's just a basic, uh, The I was feeling, you know, the underarms there. That was a throwback. Uh, this, I think, would have had an undershirt with it, which is why I decided to go ahead and let that go. If you are new here, this is how I do the bins. I shove everything over to the right, and I pick up every single piece of clothing, and I look at it. And I have found some absolutely amazing things that way because a lot of the people at my bins seem to only want to touch the surface. Now, this is horribly pilled. Um, or I probably would have picked this up, uh, but because it, the, I decided to let it go because it was not worth it to me to try to get all those pills out. Now this Serape thing is because this is this fabric and this style of hoodie has, I think probably been around since like the sixties and is still popular with a specific demographic and you know has grown in popularity it's, has waned and, and grown in popularity with other demographics over the last when was the 60s like 60 years ago that's fun this is a little fast fashion top so that went to the side this is a plain basic button front i thought about that for a hot minute but some of the basic pieces i'm gonna let go this this was exciting. Uh, this felt nice, and it is nice. This is a Bowden piece. It is a dress by Bowden. This is me doing the, the cute little dancey dance to show the pattern because I'm very excited about the fact that I found Bowden at the bins in a larger size. I think the largest size I've ever found before just at a regular retail store was like a size 12 US, and so this was amazing. Uh, not that piece. That, that was pretty, but... I was, I'm still talking about the Bowden piece. Uh, this is a, a, I don't know what this is, actually. I had a hard time figuring out what it was. I think it was a robe. It looks like a robe. I could not find a label on this anywhere. I couldn't find a material tag. I couldn't find a label. I couldn't find anything. So 
That went into the no thank you pile. This is a Disney piece. It's a Disney Her Universe piece. I think it's Kingdom Hearts. I'm not 100% sure. But it is a size small. But Her Universe is a brand I will always pick up when I find. Just because I am a nerd. And it is a nerdy brand. This is a Calvin Klein dress. Man, this thing is screaming aughts. Uh, that is like... 2006, 2000 to 2009 coated there with the chevron, the mismatched chevron pattern there. Uh, but that that's very twee. I put that away. It's very like Tumblr, that era. This is actually something I am excited about. It is a Taco Bell team uh, zip up. Those actually do pretty well, surprisingly. Uh, team member clothing uh, normally are if you didn't know, some restaurants uh, do do deductions uh, for their team member clothing and their pay. So sometimes they'll go online because, you know, instead of having your pay dock $50 for a jacket, they'd much rather, you know, just go on eBay and pay $20. I realized that is underwear and freaked out. Uh, the jeans that you saw me put in the cart, that's to look up. I did end up passing on those. I think those were like... Uh, they were men's pants, but they had butterflies on them, and the butterflies felt like somebody put a cricket butterfly on them. Cricut is the the little laser cutter vinyl thing. I, you know, if you don't know what a cricket is, it's not important. Just know I didn't get it. That is, uh, I think, pajamas. They're really soft, and I was thinking about it because they were so soft, but I decided to go ahead and pass on them. This is a vintage dress. I actually put this on the top of my cart to check. I think that was someone saying it was a size 22. Uh, if it was springtime, I probably would have picked this up, or I at least definitely would have, you know, spent more time making sure it didn't have any stains and then probably picked it up. But because it is almost Thanksgiving, I decided to pass on that and I put it back away when I was checking everything over. This is me trying to shove everything over again so that way I can get to the stuff in here. This is Nanette Lempor. This actually requires some repair. Uh, you can see all those little sparkles on it. They are coming off. So I need to go get some fabric glue and reattach some of them. There's also a significant stain there that... I needed to get out and I honestly need to double check to make sure I got that out or not. I actually ended up putting it on top of the cart. I do still have this. I do need to check to make sure I get the stain out and I also need to re-glue all the little sequins back on. Passed on that. So you, the reason why I said so much about the net, the net Lampore piece is because it's not in the hall. This is a vintage dress that if it had the tag still in it, I would have picked it up. If this piece still had the brand tag in it, I would have picked it up. But this is actually made in, I'm guessing, Germany based on the language that the material was talking in there. This is a poly cotton blend. My guess is that this is late 70s, early 80s. But because it doesn't have a brand and it is a straight brown dress, I decided to go ahead and pass on this. It's very rare for me to pass on vintage at the bins but I did put that back I did end up throwing that back so we have some pants these are vintage Dahlia pants those are gonna they're not wool so I, I set those aside this is some dress I think yeah it's a dress this is me moving to the side so I can see what it is it's marled that is the brand I don't know where that is I went and picked this up because I saw a vintage oyster shell buttons it is a vintage piece uh it is from the 90s and is green uh, but somebody decided that they needed to make it shorter so they just cut the bottom of it off and they did not do a good job of it and I didn't feel like taking home a project especially since there was also some staining so that was more of a project I did consider picking that up just to cut the buttons off of it though if you if you sew at all, you know how much buttons can can cost when you're working on a project. Uh, this is not a brand I would pick up. I did look it up though because I'd never seen it before. Bless you. And that's me being polite. Whenever anybody sneezes, even if they're nowhere near me, I just have to say that. I don't know. It's a compulsion. It's polite, I guess. 
Uh, I don't know what this is. It's green, so I was looking at it, and it felt like a really thick knit fabric. Uh, but I couldn't figure out the brand. This is another item that didn't have uh, either a material tag or a brand in it, and it also didn't have any pockets where that could be hidden. If you notice, the background sound in this video is a little bit lower than some of the other ones. Uh, that is due to the fact that there is a woman having a speakerphone conversation, very untoward speakerphone conversation, where there are children running around everywhere that are not hers, and she's just airing out her dirty laundry, literally, behind me at the bins. It, the bins are just a really interesting place to go on a regular basis. I will say you are never bored and there is definitely always something interesting to find and also to experience at the bins. Are they always great experiences? No, but they are interesting experiences. Um, this is Alia, which is a bathing suit company that's that's what i've seen from them i uh, guessing that's supposed to be a cover-up so i just pulled it aside to see what the comps were like uh just because you know i don't know i've seen some of the bathing suits can do well uh, i've actually like bought and sold some of their bathing suits this is designers originals this label always trips me out uh because of the fact that it kind of looks like the vintage laura ashley label and laura ashley is a great pickup so that's why I always like double check. Okay, what is this? Okay, no, it's not Laurel Ashley. All right, I'll go ahead and throw it back. Those are some pants with some untoward stains. Uh, this is a pair of pajama pants. I think those are Gilligan O'Malley. Uh, this is a, I have no idea what that is. I think that's supposed to be a swim shirt. And this is a sweater, another loft piece. This is a size small or I would have picked it up. Uh, the smaller sizes will sell for loft, but they will not sell as fast or for as much as the larger sizes. But I do like to pick up anything large and above in loft because it does do pretty well. This is an Athleta dress. It unfortunately is horribly pilled. Like, it, it, it's more pill than dress at that point. So I let that go. This is a Livy piece, but it's not the Livy by Lane Bryant. It is an Italian brand named Livy. I did look at that to see what the deal with that was. But it, because it's not an American brand, I guess they got away with it. I don't know. This is a Cynthia Rowley Fit and Flare dress. Uh, I did end up passing on this just because it was a smaller size. Uh, but it was cute. I like Fit and Flare dresses. I think they're very attractive for pretty much all body types, to be honest. This is a vintage Pierre Cardin dress with a lovely like cottage core, granny core style. It's a size medium. Um, that's the only reason I didn't pick this up. I had to think about it though because it was a maxi length, uh, but I ended up passing on it. I, I was trying to be a little bit more picky this time. I, I know that part of this is, you know, me picking stuff up I would be happy to sell myself but I know that not everyone that watches my channel is as much of a fan of vintage as I am that is me using another shirt to pick up another pair of not cute underwear uh, which is what I try to do to move stuff when I'm not surprised by it I do prefer not to wear gloves when I'm at the bins that is because while it it does mean that I am unfortunately going to touch some things with my bare hands that is kind of the point i have found a lot of really nice wool a linen and silk pieces because i've been able to tactily pay attention to what it is that i am touching and that also you can also kind of feel quality of fabric especially if you're someone who does create things like sewing or crafting of any any kind you, you get a kind of a feel for the fabric. You can tell when something is like, you know, a higher quality silk versus, you know, more of a, a mass market one or a, a heavier weight wool versus, you know, something that is kind of a, a wool blend. You, you just get that over time. Also, there are some brands that have distinctive feels. Like you'll hear people talk about Lululemon all the time. Like it has a set texture to it. 
Uh, and once you like start to dial that in, it really does make a difference. That's another vintage piece I thought about, but it didn't have a brand name in it. It just was a, a neat, interesting pattern. This is a, an Eddie Bauer skirt. It is a size six. I actually have one of these already in my store in a gray. So uh, if that doesn't sell in the whatnot auction, I'll probably just lot it up in the springtime to, to sell both of them together because they are the same size and style. They're just different colors. This is a Bordeaux piece. I think that's sold at like Kohl's or Marshall's or one of those places. Uh, that is a, I think, Warhill shirt, which is one of the high schools in Williamsburg. That was just, a, it's interesting color. It's a pretty color. That's a vintage Ralph Lauren sport piece, but I think it's capris, uh, and so I pass on those. This is a 3XL. I'm, I maybe should have looked that up, because uh, I don't think I've seen that brand before. That is me checking my heart rate and showing that it's over 100 beats a minute. I started to feel dizzy at this point, and like not great, but I was like, I'm not even a third of the way through this bin, so I'm just gonna at least try to get through this bin. I'm at least try to get through this bin before I quit, even if I have to, you know, dip out early. I at least try to do one bin. Because you know, how many how many pounds of clothing do you think one of these bins holds? I actually want to know the answer to that. If anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know. Pretty. This is a loft piece. I just said it was pretty. I still think it's pretty, but it's also a size small and it is the winter. I, I mean, you could layer with it. This is Vineyard Vines. It's a size four women's. I'm not going to pick that up at the bins. Uh, I have some luck with Vineyard Vines, but not a lot of luck. So the, those basics, I'm just going to pass on from now on, even at the bins. It's amazing that I have better luck with Columbia than I do Vineyard Vines. One of those has a higher retail price than the other one which is interesting I'm um, just some basics here it's a pretty dress this is Cupio which I think is uh, like a teen brand I don't know what this is what is this turn it around for me other me I think it's limited that is the limited I think that was a mall brand um, it's a green waffle knit basic that I left behind this was weird. I think this was a cow neck, uh, but I couldn't make out the brand in there. It, it, it was too worn. It was one of those that's screen printed on the inside, but those get worn away pretty fast if it is a very stretchy knit. I thought that was cute. I don't know what Union Pier is, but it's a cute little summer top in a size small. I love this color. I know it's not teal, I don't, but it's not quite like a blue, it's like a blue green, but it's not teal. It's like deeper than that. It's like a, like a rich jewel tone. And here is me monitoring my heart rate because it's still high and I'm starting to get even more dizzy and like hot. And those are normally indications to me that I need to stop and take a rest and or just like leave and sit in my car for a hot minute. Um, because it either means that I'm going to pass out soon or that my heart is having an episode. Uh, or both. Sometimes it's both. It's really bad if it's both. So that's why I actually I have an Apple Watch is because it has this EKG feature. And it tells me I am in atrial fibrillation, which is... That's me sighing and being frustrated because I'm, as you see, not halfway through the bins. But that is part of dealing with POTS. Not everybody who has um, POTS has to deal with AFib. Uh, my heart rate goes into ventricle tachycardia or atrial fibrillation. I also have issues where my heart rate will go way too high. So it's already at over 100 right now. So I mean, I think the highest it's ever been is like 217 or something. And then it'll also have episodes of low heart rate where it'll, it'll dip to like the 40s. Uh, or sometimes lower. So that is, that's my life. That's super fun to deal with regularly. I just thought it was, it was neat that I can like show you an issue and I'm, you can see me still, still going. Should I be doing this right now? No, I should definitely be stopping right now, but this is me being stubborn. Here's a pair of Columbia shorts. 
uh, they have the, the little lining inside, so I guess they're supposed to be like amphibian shorts where you can wear them in the water or out of the water. Uh, that's what I'm going to market it as. Is, is a, it's not amphibian. I think Vanphibian is actually a brand name for Vans, um, but it's, it's one of those multi-purpose. I thought this was cute. I know a Depop girly would absolutely have bought that. But I am not a Depop girly because I don't have time to take pictures of myself modeling all the clothes. This I thought was too cool. It is a Kool-Aid. That, that pun was not intended. It's a Kool-Aid uh, t-shirt. It's a t I, th I think it's a larger size. Uh, I'll have to do measurements on it because it's too faded in there. But I think that that was pretty cool. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Push that over to the side. Banyu Bay. I have no idea what this is. I probably should have looked that up, uh, but I didn't. <laughs> Hooray me. Uh, if any of these brands that I like didn't look up are ones that you know, uh, please let me know. I'm always happy to learn more. I thought this was an interesting one fabric and pattern. I know it looks like grandma's couch, but you know, isn't there a saying like ugly sells on eBay? I mean, I've known that to be true because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what you might not like, somebody else might absolutely love. And that's what I think about all the time because I I actually know for a fact that there are a couple pieces of my own clothing that people make fun of every time I wear them and I don't care because I love them. And I'm sure you have some of those in your closet too. Uh, this is a vintage like shiny metallic knit. I was trying to see what the material content was, but I could not find it. So that is why I left that. Uh, normally, those are questions I get with those vintage knits because people have issues with, you know, acrylic or certain types of fabric or spandex. Uh, this is a cute little J. Crew dress. I'm so glad. I think you can see it better actually in the, this footage than you can in the haul. But I just thought that this was adorable. I would love this dress. If this dress was in my size, I probably would keep it. It's just a, an attractive, nice jersey black dress. So this beautiful piece right here is a very stained tablecloth, but the fabric it's made out of is called Toile, T-O-I-L-E. And it was originally produced in Ireland in the 18th century, so the 1700s, and was extremely popular both in clothing and in decor in Britain and France, and subsequently the American colonies of the time. And I do live near Colonial Williamsburg, so I will come across some twall pieces every now and again, and I always get really excited when I find it because I do find it quite beautiful. I am calling it now that it will probably come back into fashion in 2026 when we have uh, the celebration of 250 years of the American independence because that's what happened in the 70s when we celebrated the bicentennial. So there is that. Uh, there's also a beta brand uh, twall called the Robo Twall, which is actually kind of the same scene you just saw there on that fabric, uh, except it has robots uh, chasing people and setting things on fire. And that is specific to beta brand. If you find the dresses or shirts in the Robo Twall, uh, I highly recommend you pick them up. They are definite bolos. This is a really cool vintage piece. It is a three button jacket. If it was a two button jacket or a one button jacket, I definitely would have picked it up. Three button jackets are not in fashion right now. So I decided to pass on that, even though if it was my size, I probably wore it. This is a, a Hobie bathing suit top. Uh, it is not affiliated with the kayaking brand, which if you do find Hobie clothing, for the kayaking brand, those also sell really well. Actually, anything Hobie, like if you find kayaking parts or pieces, you should definitely pick up Hobie stuff when you find it. So this is a regular at the Benz, and I don't know what are, their name is. They have no idea who I am. I just see them frequently, and I love their style. Like, they are also someone who are, loves but vintage. I see you wearing that. And that's just me being like, I, I totally could see you wearing this. And she does end up picking it up and taking it and going and trying it on. It unfortunately did not fit them because they were more endowed in the chesticle area than I am, but it would have looked really cool on them and I know they would have pulled it off. I, I just do things like that. If I, if I, as I'm looking around and seeing what other people are picking up, if I notice, especially in the books, if they are picking up like a certain type of book or like, especially like 
moms that are looking at kids books and like picking up all the magic tree house books or stuff and like i come across them i will like literally hand it to people because i it's just nice it's just nice it's not something that i want to resell and if i see someone else is picking it up like why not make it easier on them you know just just do nice things that was moist that is why i made a sound and threw it away i was trying to figure out what this was uh i couldn't figure it out so i just threw it to the side this is a J. Peterman top, which is a brand I have made quite a bit of money from uh, when I have found it at Diversity Thrift when I was going doing the dollar days, which I will hopefully do for Thriftmas. This is a brand for us tall ladies. Uh, it's Long Tom Sally. That's actually my first time ever finding the brand out in the wild, which I think is great. A little gap piece that is an older tag. Another loft piece. There was actually a lot of like small and medium loft basics in this bin. Do you guys remember the style of fabric? Do you remember? This is very Y2K. Again, if I was, you know, a Depop girly and I could totally style this with some like wide leg flares or some just flare jeans in general, I probably would super easy to sell that, but I'm not a Depop girly. Actually, I... I didn't really see any Depop girlies this day at the bins, which was odd. Normally, well, you know what? They normally come in with the t-shirt bros first thing in the morning. And now that, you know, they've changed the time from 11 a.m. to 9 a.m., I bet they're coming at 9 a.m. Uh, when everything's fresh. And that's why I'm not seeing the normal people that I see. Uh, I'm seeing a new set of regular people, which I, I think is kind of neat. So, you know, maybe if there's a, a time that you normally come to your to your local bins, maybe come at a different time. And there might be, you know, new interesting things there. Or not. You do to you. I'm not your real dad. This is a Talbot's piece. I have no idea what that brand was. I probably should look it up. Pair of Thieves. I just didn't feel like a, a substantial piece, so I set that aside. That's a new day, which is Target. Uh, those are some full-on pants. Little, little old navy jacket there for kids. Uh, some more. I, I have. I think it's a robe or a dress. That is a dress. That is definitely a dress. That is Land's End. Uh, I thought about it. It does have the tie with it. Uh, but it also had a hole there in the front, so I let that go. That is a tie to some robe, but I couldn't find the robe in the spin. And this is another Talbot's piece. I think that's a dress. I thought about it. This is another instance where it was, uh, one, not the season for it. That's more of a springtime dress. And two, also a smaller size. Here's a pair of Eddie Bauer pants. Uh, they're skinnies, so I, you know, toss them back. This is like a slinky material. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I'm, I'm holding it up. Oh, this is a 3X. It is a dress and it's made out of a slinky material. It is a vintage dress. I went and looked it up and uh, there was not anything on eBay for it. So that is why I decided to throw that back when I did the cart check. It's Forever 21, it's a green dress. Of course, I had to look at that because you know, it's me. I actually uh, bought this for myself. Uh, I, I buy these like nice little ribbons, one for my hair uh, and, and two in case there's a dress that or a, a suit that doesn't have a, a belt that matches. Uh, now it will have a belt that matches. So I use them in my hair until I find another use for them. And it works out great because that's like what a dime maybe not even that. So I'm going to go ahead and give you to other Bob now, and she is going to do the haul with y'all. Welcome to the haul, y'all, and let's just go ahead and get into it. The first piece I have to show you is this J. Crew piece. It is actual J. Crew, not J. Crew Factory. It is a slim fit sweater. It's a size large in men's. It's just a navy and uh, blue striped sweater. And, you know, I pick up J. Crew whenever I find it at the bins. Uh, well, most of it. I don't pick really up the chino shorts for women because of the fact that they're so prolific that I don't really feel necess it necessary to pick those up because I don't want to sit on them. And I did pick this up because it's a cotton cashmere blend. But here that is. Set that over here. 
I also picked this up. It is a Disney uh, Her Universe collaboration. So Her Universe is an online retailer that makes geeky and nerdy clothes specifically for female presenting individuals. They, they do a lot of collaborations with different licensing. So this is one of the Disney ones. It is a women's size small and it's just this like sheer button front top. It is a long sleeve. I feel like this is supposed to be a Kingdom Hearts thing. I will have to look it up, but otherwise it's just a really nice basic. Uh, I, I just thought it was cute. And whenever I see Her Universe or Disney together, I do have a tendency to pick it up, even in retail locations. So at the bins, definitely going to do that. This is, you know, just a hippie thing. I will put in the whatnot auction what the measurements are that I think this is sized as. Just looking at it, I feel like it's a size large for men's. It is a purple and black hooded serape, which is the type of fabric it is. It's like the, the Mexican blanket material. It's called serape. It's a, a, I might be butchering that if you know Spanish, please go ahead and correct me in the comments. But it's a typical, you know, skater bro top. California, it, this gives me California vibes. It is purple and black and purple people love purple. So I picked that up. It is pilled, but I will go over uh, that with a fabric shaver. The next piece was just beautiful and it has the original maker's label on it. This is Elaine Gold, not Elaine Gould, Elaine Gold. And this is just a beautiful polyester scarf. Very soft, very pretty. Beautiful rosettes in gold and red. Pretty nice substantial square scarf. Definitely was not leaving this behind. If you can find her wool, silk, or cashmere scarves, uh, Elaine Gold, uh, they can go for, you know, 20 to $30, but the, because it's a polyester one, it is less expensive, but not less beautiful. It's very pretty. This is a vintage piece. Uh, this is a vintage piece from Land's End. It is an extra large and is a women's size 18. It has shells on it. It is a basic white polo. You guys know I always feel great about finding white at the bins. That is, uh, it was stained. I got all the stains out. It had a stained collar, but I got that out. So it's just a nice polo. Lance in, I've talked about, I always pick it up when I can find it at the bins. And something that most people would not consider picking up or realize that it is a fast seller, and that is fast food employee uniform pieces. <laughs> so I found this black full zip and I thought, oh, that's a nice full zip. What is that? And then I saw the Taco Bell logo. This is a Taco Bell team member full zip uh, jacket. These actually sell pretty consistently between like 20 and $25 on eBay. And this was heavily stained. It had stains here all in the front. It had stains on the sleeve because it's a fast food restaurant employee jacket. But I got them all out. And so that is going to go up as well. I thought that was very amusing. That's actually the first time I found like a fast food restaurant uh, employee uniform out and about. But I was at the bin. So there was that. And this is a vintage knit top. It is made in the USA. It is a size small. Just a really very soft acrylic piece in the Barbie pink. You know, I'm gonna keep picking up Barbie pink things until they stop selling for me, which I don't think is ever because, you know, purple people love purple, but I think pink girls like pink even more than purple girls do. But just a size a small pink vintage knit with the back zip, the back quarter zip. So I picked that up. This I picked up because it's green and I love green. <laughs> it's a Chico size two, which is awesome. And it is a green three quarter length top with a nice little brown piping accent on top. Really soft like jersey material. And I don't know uh, what the Chico size two is, but this is a rayon. Oh, this is faux leather, okay. So it's a faux leather accent. It's really soft. It's like a suede faux leather. I don't know. I just thought the top was cute and it's green 
and it's Chico's, so I'm definitely gonna pick that up. This is something I'm sure nobody talks about on reselling YouTube because I am pretty sure I'm one of the few people that also used to play rugby <laughs> here on this platform. And so when I saw some Canterbury shorts, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, Christopher Newport University does have a rugby team, does have a rugby club, and I actually used to play for men's club because there was no women's club, and so I never got to like play on the A side games, but I did get to, you know, practice and be on the B side games. But this is a pair of size small Canterbury rugby shorts, and it's really easy to tell when it's a pair of rugby shorts. First of all, they're gonna be made out of a very heavy canvas style material. They're gonna be some shorty shorts. I know shorty shorts are more in style now than they were in like the 90s and the 2000s. So like shorty shorts, you know, five inches or less shorty shorts. And they're also, most of the quality ones will have a rubberized elastic waist. Uh, and that is to keep the rugby polo tucked and also the shorts on um, and also to give you a little bit of lift because uh, you will get lifted up by your shorts. So this is going to be a heavy duty waist elastic uh, and a heavy duty canvas. If you've never watched rugby before, I highly recommend it. It is a fast moving game. It is very confusing to watch for the first time and play for the first time because there are a lot of rules. You don't, you can't pass the ball forward. It can only be passed backward. And you're like, well, how in the world are you gonna get it forward? It's like you run really fast and you pass a lot. <laughs> anyway, I absolutely love rugby. It is such an amazing sport, in my personal opinion, way better than American football. And I know I'm gonna get some problems in the comments for saying that out loud, but it is a much more dynamic sport. It's also much more dangerous because there's not any of that padding. Um, more and more padding has been allowed, but it's not quite the same as American football. So traumatic brain injuries are still very much an issue. Super fun, super fun to watch. But uh, I'm giving you all this information about the sport because I really love it and I miss playing it just like I miss playing roller derby. But a pair of Canterbury uh, rugby shorts, rugby gear in general, just like most specialized sports equipment can be valuable. These are high quality rugby shorts. They're in really great shape. Um, they're black, they are men's small, so, you know, that doesn't really mean anything because a lot of our rugby players, uh, when I played Christopher Newport, were smaller size dudes that also ended up playing, you know, soccer. You can always tell when someone came from a soccer background and was trying rugby, or if they came from an American football background and were doing rugby for the first time. Like, it was very easy to pick who was doing what last, um, but yeah. Canterbury shorts, those are great. If I end up selling those, personally, more than happy with that. Again, just like with all of the other Ben's hauls for the month of November, everything is going to be available on Whatnot. So that will be uh, Tuesday. It, it'll be over here Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything starts at $2, so you can pick something up for yourself. Because, you know, it is... The beginning of the holiday this week. I will also like to say I will not be doing an auction on Thursday uh, because it's Thanksgiving. So this will be the only auction this week. So hopefully you guys will join me for it. You can either just hang out or you can get some cheap inventory for yourself or just keep get some cheap stuff for yourself. Next item is Lucky Brand. Uh, Lucky Brand is not an item I pick up often in their denim because denim in my area starts at like $9 a pair. And Lucky Brand and True Religion both tend to be brands that the stores mark up to $15 to $20. So I, I don't really buy that that often because I can't find it. But I found this interesting pair at the bins. It has patched knees and I think that that is actually uh, factory. I think that's on purpose. It does have a shorter inseam. Uh, these are... The uh, Sienna Slim Boyfriend, uh, the boyfriend front fit is, has done well for me in Judy Blue, so I thought I would try it in the Lucky brand. It is a button fly and it is a shorter inseam, so I will see how those do. You know, again, more than happy to give these a try. 
I do really well with Lucky Brand tops that I get from the bin. They sell pretty consistently. Uh, they're bread and butter for me. So I'm really happy to try their denim because I feel like they're more known for their denim and it's nice to find it at the bins. I was so excited to find this. You guys, if you've been here for a while, know how much I love Bowdoin, both personally and to resell. And I found this lovely blue jersey dress. It is sleeveless, long, beautiful floral dress. And this is a US size 14 long. Not, not regular, not petite, not short, a 14 long. And as someone who is tall lady herself, I thought this was great. Not only was I able to find something above a women's size 10 US in Bowdoin, but I also found a long length one. So I am very happy with this. And hopefully one of y'all will be as well. Either not, I'm, I'm again, more than happy to sell that myself. Everything here is something I'm more than happy to sell myself. This uh, is missing its belt but that didn't stop me from picking it up. It is Amber Crombie and Fitch and it's a size medium and I'm sure you can see why I picked it up because it's green. This is a little, little romper. Little cute little bright green with leaves romper. It would have a matching little belt here. Uh, probably just like a little scarf and similar fabric from the photographs that I could find. But it's Amber Crombie and Fitch. It's a size medium, you know, maybe Maybe by the summer I would be able to fit into this. Um, but if one of y'all pick it up, I'm more than happy. If not, then that'll probably go in my closet and hopefully I can wear it next year. Another green thing. Also super excited about this because it's Delia's. So Delia's is a 90s Y2K brand. Uh, the Delia's property has been revived, but it is currently being made and sold by Dolls Kills, which I will buy and sell their stuff second hand. I will not support them with my own money as new. But this is uh, extra large, which I have never found anything in Adelia's size extra large. And this is very Y2K, very Y2K dress. I know this is not quite the season for it, but I thought that this was super cool to find a vintage Y2K Adelia's dress in green in, a, in an extra large size, perfectly happy with this nice Kelly green. Maybe somebody picked that up for uh, St. Patrick's Day, which will come sooner than I would want. Another brand that uh, most people here on reselling YouTube don't talk about, it doesn't really sell for a whole lot. It's very bread and butter. But again, as a tall girl, I know about it because this brand specifically makes stuff for tall female presenting individuals. And the brand name is Long Tall Sally. Uh, this is a size large and it is a black long sleeve with this interesting little like kind of a, a mesh panel with uh, some satin piping around the sides. But a really nice basic. You can see how much longer it is both in the arms and in the torso. So I picked this up. I mostly just got super geeked out that I found Long Tall, Tall Sally at all because, uh, again, it is a brand that I personally like. I, I don't really own any of it because I've never been able to find it in a size that fits me. Like, I would be a medium, and that's a size large, but that does make me very happy. This is a Banana Republic. This is their luxury blend, so this is a silk cashmere blend. Uh, I talked about Banana Republic picking up their basics at the bins because they do well for me. I think this is also a men's size large, just like that J. Crew piece was. So we have a lovely men's sweater. It is sweater weather, and this is a nice, you know, basic brown neutral color. And if I see something that's going to be silk and cashmere, I'm definitely going to pick that up. This is a Florida State Nike long sleeve t-shirt. We're still in sports ball season. So these basic long sleeves that are made by Nike will do well. Also, this is a 2XL. I think it's the Florida State Seminoles, am I correct? I know some sports. <laughs> but I picked that up because I knew that would be a quick and easy sell. 
And we have another J. Crew piece. This is an older tag. It is a women's size small and it's modal and rayon. And this is just a little black dress. I just thought this was like a cute little black dress. I mean, it's not gonna look well like me holding it up for you, but I'm sure it'll look great on Karen. Has a nice little like bunched front here where the, the decolletage is. Uh, it's a little short. Well, it's not sh a short, short dress. It would definitely cover me, which would be rare, but I just thought it was really cute. And it looks very comfortable. So I picked that up. Another Nike piece, except this is just the Nike T. It is a size XL and has the red swoosh there. So even if uh, nobody and whatnot picks that up, I can definitely take that to the buy sell trade store and they will pay me for that. This is a brand um, that I have bought and sold stuff from before. I actually have a couple of pieces in my own closet. I wore them for the Renaissance Festival. I'll put a couple pictures over here for, you know, vanity reasons. It's Jay Peterman, and they're more known for their gender neutrals and their historical garments, which is what these two are. These are like, I think these are the woodsman shirts, um, but they're, they're gender neutral and they, they ver look very historical, um, but their silk dresses do well as well. Uh, it is a higher end brand. They do have a high retail. Uh, this is a polyester piece, so I don't know how it's gonna do, but it has a neat pattern. So this is a women's size medium. It is uh, a sleeveless uh, tunic length tank. It's a high-low tunic length tank. So this would be really great for layering. I'd probably put Log and Look in here since this is supposed to be a size medium, but looks a little big on me. So probably just a Log and Look pop of color for you. But I decided to pick this up because it's my first time finding J. Peterman at the bins. I've only been able to find J. Peterman either at New to You uh, and there, and they they get estate sale buyouts there, or in Richmond. So it was nice to find it at the bins. This is something that I was sad did not fit me. It's Cuddle Duds. I picked it up honestly for myself, hoping it would fit. But it these are like the softest pair of lounge pants I have ever felt in my life. So if I find them in my size, I will keep them. They're modal spandex blend and they're size large in blue and they're wide leg. And the reason they don't fit me is because they're too short and they fall off of my butt. Well, they don't fall off my butt. My butt's kind of big, but they don't sit where I would want them to sit on my body because they're they're too big for me. But they are so comfy feeling and so, so cute. So maybe a pair of, of medium will fall into my lap at some point, or at least just a pair of medium. But those are size large. Hopefully those will find a new home. I, I, I doubt they won't because they are just so comfy. Here is a vintage piece. We have a 90s large jumper here. This is like a nice cotton canvas. It's not quite denim. I would just say it's a heavy cotton canvas. I wouldn't necessarily call it, maybe chambray? Maybe I would call this chambray. But it's got two patch pockets with some palm tree embroidery and these really nice wooden buttons on either side. But it is a women's size large and it is 100% cotton, so I picked that up. I do really well with those 90 styles jumpers. And this is an Eddie Bauer skirt. It is a size six in black. I actually have a, a gray one that I picked up recently too, so they probably won't sell in my eBay store until it warms up again, but if nobody buys this, it will definitely sell in the springtime if I don't end up putting it into my own closet. And then we have Foot Joy. Here is a purple Foot Joy polo with that logo on it. I still don't know what that's from, but this is a men's size extra large. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have found this. This is Everlane. I rarely find Everlane in my area and it is their French Terry crew neck. I don't know if this is men's or women's, so we can find out. Let me just take off this Pendleton piece that I threw on to make myself feel and look fancy. 
Um, I don't know. I'm sure if I looked it up by the style, I would know exactly if it's men's or women's. I don't know. I still don't know putting it on, but it fits me great. So here is this. It's kind of like a, a gray color. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the video now because... If nobody buys this to resell on whatnot, uh, it'll definitely go in this closet. <laughs> this is, I, I shouldn't have put this on. <laughs> I should not have put this on. It feels really nice. Uh, this is a Kool-Aid piece. Oh yeah. Purple, purple Kool-Aid t-shirt. Uh, I, this is either a large or an extra large. Uh, it's kind of faded. I'll do the measurements to give you a better, a better reading of what it is. But I just thought it was a cool t-shirt. A buy sell trade will definitely take that if nobody takes it on whatnot. This is a Lucky Brand piece. This is the Venice Burnout line. I pick up anything Venice Burnout at the bins if it doesn't have holes in it. it. Has a bear on it that says beer hugs. Not bear hugs, but beer hugs. It's kind of like an olive green color. It is a men's size medium. These do pretty well. And again, the buy sell trade will definitely take that. And then we have, I think this is Columbia. Yep, so this is a men's size medium with an eight inch inseam and it is their hiking shorts with the liner. I do have to be careful whenever these uh, shorts have the liner, one, that it's there and hasn't been cut out and two, that it's not crunchy in a nasty kind of way because I just don't want to deal with that. But these are just the basic hiking pants. And then if you give me a second, I will go get the last thing in the dryer, which I was super excited to find. Okay, and so this last item, I know nobody picked up because it was horribly stained. It was very much stained. Look at it, it's cream colored, okay? And it had some brown crunchy stains all on the front, which you can see now are completely gone. And then it was also horribly yellowed around the collar. Uh, we are in puffer season, so I was very excited to find a puffer vest. And I was like, you know what? I can get those out. I bet I can get those stains out. And I was right. And whenever you see a vest like this with a zipper like this, that means it's reversible. And so in most reversible jackets or vests, or quarter zips or whatever, you're not going to be able to find the branding in the normal place they would put it, which would be here in the collar, unless they put it on both sides so that way it shows no matter which way it's out. But normally where they hide it is they either make it a tearaway tag, which is awful for us resellers, or they put it in the pockets, which is where this one was. It was in the pocket here. And it is Land's End. So this is a 100% nylon, goose down, Land's End, reversible puffer vest with cream or red. And I was so excited to find a vintage goose down vest for Land's End at the bins. Look at me. <laughs> I do believe this is women because it says it's a large 14, 16. So to me that indicates it's a women's size large and it kind of fits like a women's size large. It's a little bit too big for me. But to find a, a vintage goose down piece from Land's End, despite it needing a little bit of TLC, which I gave it, uh, I'm very excited about this. And of course, you know, I'm excited for y'all because you can buy it for me on whatnot if you're so interested. I will leave those links, of course, in the description down below. And if I'm really great, I will put it in a pinned comment up top. So this is going to be a little bit of a smaller show, uh, mostly because I have a lot of stuff going on in my personal life that I am not ready to talk about right now online. And also because I want y'all to enjoy the holidays. So if I don't see you for Thanksgiving and you are an American... Uh, I hope you have a lovely Thanksgiving. Uh, if you are Canadian, I hope you already had a lovely Thanksgiving. I believe that's last month. And I will see you guys next week for some more hauls and uh, another live. But until then, bye. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I want to.
Who do you?